Hello, it's Johnny Boy. I want to show you how to record your own paths using my CQB AI movement script. So here we're on Malden, and the first thing you need to do is put down a marker on a building. So we're going to have uh, these three units are going to run through a path we're going to create through this building. So I named a marker. I named it Mark Building 1. And I put that in my init.sqf. Uh, for this demo mission, I'll have an init.sqf that looks just like what I'm showing you here. So we uh, we set jboy -bu debug to true so we can see the markers as they're created. We have to paste the name of that marker for this particular building we want to record for into this into this uh, variable here. And uh, then we can run the mission and record by firing our gun. Every time we fire, a position will be recorded in an array, which we'll paste into this new path. Uh, there's one dummy position right now, but we'll replace that with one that we make right now. So let's try it. Halt! Understood. Okay. Uh, before we get to a door, it's good to record a position that's about 10 feet away, 10 meters away from the building, so that that gives some room for the team to stack up first before they get to the door. Um, I'm not recording yet. Actually, the first thing we need to do is record. So we use the second highlighted option here, record world positions, not relative to building. Now we're ready to record. So when I fire, a marker is going to get created. So there's our first marker. Now we come up to the door. We want the team to come through the door. Move across the room. Come up to this door. Open the door. The team will come through the door to breach it, to uh, clear the room. Now they're done with this room, so there's a dead end. They're going to turn around in 180 degrees and exit the room. I want to go up these stairs, but I'm not going to come over here and record a position because we don't have line of sight to it. If I did that, the unit, the AI unit would attempt to run through this wall to get to that position. So we want to do uh, nice, clean, right angles where we have line of sight. So the AI unit would run to here before making a left to the stairs. Now we're going to come up the stairs, record one half of the up top of stairs, into the room, more into the room, to the door, and we'll step outside and look at the balcony in the street, and then we'll come back into the room, to the middle of the room, to the other door, out to this balcony, back into the room. Back to the top of the stairs. Down the stairs. To the door. And that's it. So, let's go paste this recorded array of positions into Notepad. So we have one big long honking string here. So I'd like to uh, replace the comma breaks with a, a new line so that, insert a new line in there so that uh, we can actually see this thing. So we got a new line character that we're sticking in between the comma and the two brackets. Replace all. Now we have a nice clean array to look at. I'm going to copy this, paste it into my init.sqf. I'm going to replace this line, this one, with a nice long one. So we now have a move array that will work. Now I know it's got some funny things are going to happen, but we'll just try it so you can see uh, how to make it work for you. I'm going to restart the mission. Now that we saved that array, when we look at the building, we'll know that there's a movement array associated with it, and we can order the team of three guys to go in there. And so you see this action menu says Team White, enter building, because we recorded that one path. Team White, 
So I'm going to choose the path. Many times there might be more than one path for a building. So first you choose the team, and then you choose which path. Form file. Now these guys are going to execute this, and I guarantee you some funny, weird stuff will happen because we have to add more information to that path. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Okay, the first bad thing is he ghosted through the door, which sucks. Regroup. Ready. And these guys... Huh, well, they did the right thing there. That's amazing. Okay, they're doing pretty good. And they're ghosting through doors. I'll turn around and come back. Move back. Ready. So this is a 180, and the guy in the back becomes a leader, and he's going to go through that other door. So let's fix the ghosting through door problem. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is I need to know which one that was. So we started here a 0, 1, 2, 3. Move back. Four. The fourth position uh, is a door, so we need to flag that as a door. I also happen to know it wasn't clip. Well, let's just do that. We'll... So this is position zero, one, two, three, four. I'm going to put the word door on there to flag it. In the future, I should be able to detect which ones are doors and flag them automatically. But let's just go ahead and do that and rerun it. I also suspect it's not going to work because I think I recorded the position too far from the door. He needs to be right on the door. Team White, awaiting Form order. File. Copy that. Speed it up, get him up there. Although speeding when they're actually in the building, you can mess them up. And he ghosted. But I know what's wrong. Regroup. Ready. And the problem is is that I, did, I recorded that position too far from the door. He needs It needs to be right on the door. So when you're recording positions, it's best to open the door and stand right here. So I'm going to record one position and replace that position. And go back to my notepad and get the one position. I recorded one position. So I'm just going to capture that one position and copy it and paste it on the door position and replace it. Control V and save. And now I believe this guy will now open the door when he gets there. Team White, awaiting Form order. file. Roger that. Ready. Speed him up, get him up there. All right, come on, man. Open that door, please. And it worked. Move back. Ready. So the guy in the back becomes the new leader. He's 
going to go up the stairs. It's best to uh, flag the stairs as stairs also, but uh, it seemed to work without doing that in this case. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to determine which uh, of these other upper upper positions are doors. And since I wasn't counting, I forget. But one way to do that is to guess and say, I think it might be this one. And I'm just going to set pause the player there and uh, figure out which one's the door. Stop. Well, I gotta go a lot further than that. Well, one good thing is I know that's stairs, so I'm gonna flag these as stairs. And the next three were stairs. So the door is probably further up, like around here, maybe. Where am I? I'm outside the door. Move back. So actually, the door was one less than that. I believe it's this guy. Ready. Yeah, that was the door position. And then it was be one, two Stop. more beyond that. So I think the next door is there. Good. And uh, as you've seen in some of the other videos, is we have some cool special stuff we can do. We can breach a door, so I'm going to do a Bino, not Bino, Bino, <laughs> breach on the door, and also toss in a flashbang. That could also be a grenade. I could have put grenade here but we're going to flash it. And at one of the upper doors, we'll do the same thing, even though it doesn't make any sense because there are doors to the outside. It's not to a room, but we'll do it anyway, just to give you a full example. Here we'll do my gun breach. And this time we'll throw a grenade instead of a flashbang. This is where it gets interesting. Let's try it. Team White, awaiting Board orders. file. On the way. Let's get our team up there. And hopefully he'll open this door. And he's gonna. This time he's gonna breach it. He tested the door handle. Set a charge. So it's a charge. Fire in the hole! Come on! Move up. And he threw a flashbang. Threw a flashbang. And it'll go in the room. Halt. Now he's gonna turn around. Move back. Ready. Behind him. Oh well. Take yeah. cover. Hopefully he's working on. A, is that door gonna work? He might not be close enough for to it. No, nope. he's gonna gun breach it. Open That's right. Open that door. Nah, Stop. He was I 
think I have to record another position there for that door to work. But you get the idea. I'm going to turn around and go and you know, exit the building. So I think it's kind of fun to play with, man. You, you have to tweak your, uh, your points to get them to do exactly what you want them to do. But once they do it, they do it pretty well. And uh, it's pretty cool. So I hope somebody enjoys this. Take it easy.